I'm Dr Paul Rea and I'm the Programme Director of the MSc Medical Visualisation and Human Anatomy. This is a joint collaborative degree between the Glasgow School of Art and us here within the University of Glasgow. Our Master degree in Medical Visualisation and Human Anatomy is unique in its genre because it's combining teaching and learning in information technology, so using technology like to develop interactive applications, but as well using technology to extract medical data sets and digitalize those medical data sets. But as well, it's providing teaching and learning to our students in human anatomy. Medical visualization in relation to this postgraduate top masters really means the use of digital technologies to image and process and analyze and represent visually complex structures and complex processes in a more simple, palatable fashion. This uh, program is composed of three stages. In the first stage, we are training our students using segmentation and editing technology for medical data sets, 3D modeling technology and digital painting technology, and as well technology for interactive development. Alongside with it as well, we provide basic training to our students in virtual reality and augmented reality. The second stage is done within the human anatomy facility at the University of Glasgow and specifically that has three individual components. The first of these is called Introduction to Anatomy. Within here, we introduce and explore the basic concepts related to the human body. People with a non-science background or non-life science background can enhance their understanding of the layout of anatomical structures. Once the students have completed this component, they then move on to structure and function of the human body. The final block is called cadaveric dissection techniques and that allows a hands-on experience where our students will dissect key areas of anatomy using our cadavers. The way the programme is taught is you are gradually exposed to the cadavers. The unique feature of this programme is that we have access to cadaveric material. This is by two means. The first one is by prosections, and these are professionally dissected specimens. In addition to this, we also have access to our cadavers. In the stage three, students have to carry out a self-directed project under the dual expertise of two supervisors. Normally, this project aim at mixing the knowledge acquired from the two previous stages, so technological knowledge, but as well human anatomy knowledge or more generally biomedical and life science knowledge. The student master project is the opportunity for all our students first to express their creativity, but as well to apply all the teaching and learning in technological implementation, but as well teaching and learning in the field of human anatomy. The project normally tend to last two months and a half and ended with the production of a master thesis, but also with the development of an interactive product or an animation. This program is the only one in the world which is pushing the paradigm of medical illustration, patient communication toward a digital pathway. This programme is now just about to enter its ninth year of running and the reason we brought this degree in was because we needed to combine and train the next generation of students in the use of digital technologies applied to the human body. Not just the human body but also in relation to veterinary practice, dentistry and surgery. Graduates have went on to secure employment with major multinational firms. This includes Canon Medical Research Europe, Limbs and Things, Fluida, Holoxica and truly the list goes on. I've just found it absolutely fascinating and I, I I think it's given me a new understanding and appreciation of the function of the body and I think it's incredible the opportunity I've had to explore the, the mechanical functions and the chemical functions of the body and in not, not many places give me that opportunity. Mm -hmm.